Hello and welcome once again to News Watch Nightly and um, we're coming at you a little early today as uh, we've got quite a bit that going on at the studio so um, thanks for uh, tuning in and uh, we totally appreciate your viewership. Now, um, as we uh, get to uh, Newswatch, we're going to bring you up to date on some weather. And uh, there we go. Currently in Newcastle, 87 degrees, and it feels like 93. And uh, now you're starting to get some of that activity that they were talking about as uh, yeah there we go wanted to just make sure that uh, we had the link for you and um, there you go you can see up in northern Butler County there's rain and uh, we're going to make this uh, here's a, a a cell right here if you go down uh, this is New Lexington <coughs> excuse me Zanesville uh, <coughs> where um, you see activity there so um, we're going to be keeping an eye on that like I said 87 feels like 93 in Newcastle and uh, yes the train is on the tracks and Newswatch is straight ahead for you in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV 45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV 45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV 45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV 45, anytime on your time. being stuck in the house and relying on others to take you places? Let ACTS be your professional driving service. Did you know that ACTS is more than just medical transportation? From trips to shopping, beauty salons, work and play, ACTS is here to get you there. We offer special low fares for senior citizens and passengers with disabilities. No income restrictions. For more info, give us a call or check out our website. Moving you forward. Yes, it's New Age Graphics. For signs, wraps, banners, printing, Dan Ferry, owner, gives you such quality work, you'll be amazed. Don't be afraid to call him. Office 724 656 4934. Fax 724 656 9320 sale 724-651-8769 they're located at 1031 Butler Avenue in Newcastle the ferry at newagesigns.com newagesigns.com when you're looking for that professional look today's program was paid for by a grant from Pegley's Pasta and More, East Washington Street in Newcastle. Simple elegance in a majestic setting. Yes, right here in downtown Newcastle, minutes away from shopping, seconds 
from a gas station. And let's not forget pastries, a restaurant, and oh yes, the schools. The majestic for that majestic lifestyle right in the greatest castle. Newcastle. Come by and take a look. Welcome back, and um, let's get to the top stories of our day here. And uh, state news, uh, this out with uh, the high temperatures, no doubt uh, there's been some discussion as um, <laughs> friendly motorcycle going by. The Department of Health offers Food safety health tips to protect against foodborne illnesses this 4th of July. As residents prepare for the 4th of July cookouts and outdoor picnics, the Department of Health, Dr. Rachel Lewis, Dr. Rachel Levine, today shared tips on how to properly handle and store food to protect against foodborne illnesses. Yes, foodborne illnesses are common and usually at their peak during the summer, says Dr. Levine. Germs can make you sick quickly when food is lukewarm. That is why it is essential to keep cold foods cold and hot foods hot, knowing when the proper ways to prepare, store, and help keep you and your family safe this 4th of July. So um, here are her tips. Whole cuts of beef, pork, veal, lamb should be cooked 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Then allow the meat to rest three minutes before carving and eating. Ground meats such as beef, pork should be cooked to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. All poultry should be cooked to 165. Leftovers and casseroles should be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Fresh ham, raw, should be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Fin fish be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit or until the flesh is opaque. Okay. Refrigerate your fruit properly when and to help prevent these uh, from bacteria multiplying and making you sick. Always keep your refrigerator uh, below 40 degrees and cheer, chill the perishable food for two hours. So, um, important news from the state and... Um, they continue on. Now, yesterday was the first, and uh, it was rather impressive that the Department of Revenue released its fiscal year, 2018-2019, excuse me, the fiscal year ends January, June 30th, in case you were wondering why that, that time. Pennsylvania ended the fiscal year with a $34.9 billion in the general fund collections revenue, Secretary Don Hassel reported the total is $883.1 million, or 2.6 over the estimate. The general collections for June totaled $3.1 billion, which was $69.8 million, or 2.3 percent more than anticipated and um, so all in all they had a very good year and that allowed the governor to put in the rainy day fund some extra money and um, that was a good thing and uh, so um, heck uh, always a plus now, um, 
Today they also announced the USDA announces income eligibility guidelines for free and reduced lunch and school meals. The Pennsylvania Department of Education today announced that the U.S. Department of Agriculture released federal eligibility guidelines for free and reduced lunch, meals, and free milk for July 2019 to June 2020. Now, um, the way this lines up, if uh, a family size, one, okay, if you you are over you get reduced meals between 16 to 38 uh, and 23,107 if you have 23,108 and more you're over the guideline a family of four if you're over 47,639 you're not eligible okay um, so for each additional family member uh, they have it adds um, eight dollars and seventeen cents uh, for and they went by poverty guidelines so those are out uh, and uh, I trust that your school will inform you of those. Now, um, we're going to take and uh, go to the Cedar Sports Corner. Uh, but before you do, we do, we had the opportunity today to visit. And on the morning show, we constantly go out and uh, take a look at... Um, well, potato pillar or mullion pillars, uh, another word for eggplant, and uh, they were busy doing that down at St. Vitus. And here's a look see, there's your eggplants, and uh, into the dip they go, and then they dip them and boom, right on the tray. Keep in mind the St. Vitus Festival. A month away, if you can give any help, they're going to be rolling meatballs on, uh, and I believe it was the 23rd, 22nd and 23rd. Now, um, everybody under 18, they're eligible for that fun and food and that is scrolling right there at the bottom of your screen make sure that uh, you don't let any youngsters grow hungry and by the way it is the 23rd and 24th for the meatballs so um, there you go for that now uh, we're going to get to sports and um, wow you know um, wh what a game by the Pirates yesterday as uh, they rolled up a lot of runs let's see who they're playing today and what things look like we'll be right back after the Cedar Sports Corner program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens. 
and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner Report and let's get to it. The Pittsburgh Pirates at home taking on Chicago and um, well your Cleveland Indians they hit the road they went to Kansas City for some barbecue and uh, here is a great one the one where you need a lot of travel time yes it's the New York Yankees at the New York Mets and this is going out to my father last time the Mets won at Yankee Stadium let's go Mets now elsewhere around the majors Miami's at Washington Boston's at Toronto Baltimore's at Tampa Bay Philadelphia's Atlanta and uh, Milwaukee there in Cincinnati let's go Reds now as you get to the later games Detroit's at Chicago and um, Houston's at Colorado now out on the left west coast here you go in the wild wild west you got the twins taking on Oakland Arizona taking on the Dodgers San Francisco will be at San Diego and the late late game features St. Louis at Seattle well, that was the Cedars Sports Corner Report. Go out and get some great food at Cedars, great beverages. Get out of the heat, enjoy the air, and enjoy the games. We're going to take a time out. We'll be right back. Hi, friends. I'm Gary West. And whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Newcastle's Brothers Market, where you can get a money order, transfer money, pay bills, and play the lotto too. There's milk, juice, pop, and more. Yes, at two convenient locations, 1308 West State Street and 835 Moravia Street in Newcastle, where your business is always appreciated. Brothers Market, the market just right for you. Tired of being stuck in the house and relying on others to take you places? Let ACTS be your professional driving service. Did you know that ACTS is more than just medical transportation? From trips to shopping, beauty salons, work, and play, ACTS is here to get you there. We offer special low fares for senior citizens and passengers with disabilities. No income restrictions. For more info, give us a call or check out our website. ACTS, moving you forward. Well, we're back, and uh, more uh, state news on the way as uh, they get really busy before uh, taking a break for the holiday. Governor Wolf signed a bill to help attract new workers to Pennsylvania. House Bill 1172, now Act 41, cuts the bureaucratic red tape makes it easier for new Pennsylvanians including military spouses and with or without state occupation license the the bill sponsored by representative Dave Hickerman and 
chairman of the Professional Licensure Committee, uh, corresponded by Minority Chair Harry Reedshaw, passed overwhelmingly with bipartisan support. The new law reduces the barriers for new Pennsylvanians to work here and show this is a land of opportunity, says Governor Wolf. Portability is especially helpful for members of the military and their spouses who are frequently moved between states and service of the country and often have difficulty getting licensed work in their profession. It's another important improvement step uh, to improve the occupation licensee while making the Commonwealth more attractive place for skilled workers and businesses. And if you recall, he did promise that uh, back in January, he said that that was one of his targets that he wanted to reduce, and he got there. Now, um, property tax re rent rebates, and this is important, as uh, in Lawrence County, with a lot of elderly, um, the property tax rent rebate uh, to be distributed started July 1. And um, know that they couldn't distribute them before then. The deadline was June 30th, and they've extended it. Now, also keep in mind that they will not call you and ask for banking information or anything like that. Okay, so be aware of that. Approximately 416,000 older home owners, renters, and people with disabilities across Pennsylvania will be issued rebates, roughly totaling $196 million. Starting today, the Department of Revenue announced the rebates will be distributed through the property tax rent rebate program. Last year, this program helped more than half a million older adults and other eligible Pennsylvanians to obtain rebates for property taxes and rent paid in 2017. Now, this will be for the rent paid in 2018. Revenue Secretary Dan Hassel, the department has recently extended this year's deadline to December 31st, which I just told you. So the applicants will have more time to apply for the rebates on property taxes, rent paid in 2018. We encourage everyone who is eligible to take advantage of the program. So that very uh, important to all those older Pennsylvanians, senior citizens and those with disabilities. Now, um, how about this weather? And um, we showed your radar before, and as we dial it up, uh, you could see the spotty showers beginning. Some up in Mercer, northern uh, Butler County, and uh, then on east Clarion and Dubois, Latrobe, small stuff out towards Zanesville and Cambridge, but nothing uh, as uh, to write home about real close. Instead, what you have close to home is a temperature of, yes, 87 degrees and a heat index of 93. So um, it's warm and uh, they told you that that was coming and they were right on the money. So now what's it look like for Lawrence County 45 weather? Well, we're going to take a look and uh, the one thing I will tell you, and this doesn't happen too often, every day that uh, we've had the weather on for the last week or two, the National Weather Service predictions were actually lower than the actual temperature we reached. So uh, it's a hot one out there. Let's take a look at Lawrence County 45 weather.
course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens, and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvanites Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Hello and welcome to Lawrence County 45 weather. Well, after last night's partly cloudy low of 67, how is your week looking? And um, I think there's going to be some great news as uh, you look. Now, local radar, clear, and national scene, clear as well, so nothing to write home about. Your Tuesday, partly sunny in 87. That's not to say there might be a stray shower because of daytime heating. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy in 68. Wednesday, same deal, mostly cloudy 88. Stray pop-up shower. But it's not going to be cloudy like gloomy cloudy. You're going to see the sun. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy, 69. Chance of a stray shower exists. And then your Independence Day, mostly cloudy in 88. Thursday night, mostly cloudy, 69. And Friday, back to 88 again chance of that pop-up shower still exists uh, Friday night mostly cloudy 68 Saturday partly sunny 84 Saturday night partly cloudy 64 and your Sunday sunny and 82 so that was Lawrence County 45 <coughs> weather excuse me up uh, Get a drink. We'll be right back. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Nico and Sons Sales and Service, 347 East Washington Street, Newcastle, has lawnmowers of every type. Zero Turn Country Clippers, Bayme USA, 42 inch to 54 inch cut. Batteries by Oregon. They'll service at your home or their shop. Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons, 724-652-6911. Penn, Ohio Bottled Water Company. Home residential, commercial, water coolers, you can contact us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. We're fast, efficient, and we deliver water. We offer 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. Contact us today at 724-498-4760. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb and chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kibbe, and so much more from their huge menu. When you're looking for something different for your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. Many of their customers come in from nearby counties. Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant, located on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Call 724-652-2447. Arlington Market, located at 726 Arlington Avenue, has all the great food you remember. Yes, 
Their canned goods are fantastic and feature that old world taste. And meat, cheeses, produce, lunch meats, fresh cut meats, groceries, and so much more. It's Arlington Market. It'll make your table look spectacular. And we're back with uh, a lot more to go here on Newswatch. Now, um, you know, we're on the 4th of July. And my father-in-law used to say, well, the summer's half over. Now, there is some truth to that, and I don't want to be casting that out, but Saturday, July 6th, it's Mini Candy Canes Camp. Yes, at 9 a.m., now the cost was fifty dollars, and uh, if you have any questions, call Miss Simone Lyles at seven two four six seven four seventy one seventy one, and she'll make sure you get the help you need. And um, also, as we uh, go through uh, this news day. And uh, lots of little things happening. Now, um, the Hoyt Arts and Education, their summer camp for kids ages 3 to 12 is starting July 9th and it'll run through the 26th. Summer Art Camp will feature a variety of projects ranging from painting and drawing to sculptures, textiles, and various activities. Week one, they're, they're exploring the continents and different countries. Week one, the Americas, cave drawings, pinch pots, plastic masks, basket weaving, and more. Week two, we'll adventure to Africa and the Middle East uh, with hieroglyphics, art, and uh, a type of cloth, an Egyptian type. And week three will uh, take you to your Asia uh, with Japanese fish kites, Russian onion domes, Chinese hangings to uh, calligraph and watercolors, mosaics. Now, um, Call 724-652-2882. And uh, I'm looking, uh, cl the children 3 to 5, 6 to 8, 9 to 12, classes will meet on Tuesdays. Fridays for from 9 to 12.30, a half day, and a full day, 9 to 3.30. Um, scholarships are available. Call them to register and uh, get pricing for that activity. And, um, you know, if you're a golfer, uh, the United Way's 5th Annual Golf Outing will take place at Avalon Field Club in Newcastle. It's $250 per golfer, $50 if you just go for the dinner. And Rocco Media will be there. He'll give lessons. They'll have a golf clinic at 11. Shotguns start at noon. And um, you can call 724-658-8528 for more information about that. Now, um, let's take this break and hear from these great sponsors and we'll be right back. This program brought to you by 
coming in. Landscaping and design. Random Cummings, lower operator. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Welcome back. Now, um, you may recall us talking about, and this is in from Jeff Beasel, and um, there was a pretty big hole <laughs> at Pearson's lower field. It was a mine shaft, a sinkhole. Well, Piers and Porg's lower field, the DEP, completed their work just in time for the All-Star Baseball Tournament. Play ball, as always. Please request field times through the association. That in from Jeff Beasel, and um, thanks, Jeff, for that update. Also, in from Brian Frank of the Knights of Columbus. There is an assembly uh, meeting and I'm checking and Brian always gives me the last tomorrow. Look out! There's an assembly meeting tomorrow, fourth degree only at St. Mary's Church 730 July 3rd. Hope to see you there. So, a uh, little update there with the sinkhole and the Knights of Columbus. Also, just breaking, Governor Wolf signs, uh, and this just in, Governor Wolf signs historic health insurance reform legislation creating a state-based exchange Governor Wolf signed into law House Bill 3. This will create an exchange operated by the state in lieu of the federal government. The legislation provided lower premiums and increased access to health insurance by developing state-based health insurance exchange and new reinsurance programs. So uh, that's a plus for those that have to purchase that health insurance. We uh, talked about that the other day, that it had already gone from the House to the Senate. And uh, great news, it passed. So uh, just a lot of things going on out there. And uh, here at NCTV45, we're keeping you aware of them. Now, um, I do want to check weather with you one more time as uh, it is balmy. And uh, you can see right now to the south of us, southeast of Columbus, and due south of Zanesville and Cambridge, that storm and we're looking at how that's moving and uh, anything comes our way we'll let you know now a few more storms have lit up in southern Mercer uh, County northern Butler County and it looks like they're moving south as uh, they were on top of Clarion and now they're halfway down the county there uh, just to keep you 
a prize of those. Um, they have issued, and uh, I will read this. This is for, and I'm going to, better yet, I'm going to uh, post this on our, um, right now, on our uh, page. And uh, isolated severe thunderstorms are possible with damaging wind as well as localized flooding. Be aware of that uh, because it's out there and uh, it could creep up at any time. Now, um, currently 87 in Newcastle. Feels like temperature of 93. So you are toasty warm as you're going through your day. And uh, this was Newswatch Nightly. We came at you a little earlier than normal. We have some other stuff we have to get to, and um, there you go. So as I leave you, and um, again, I'll repeat, isolated thunderstorms are possible. The feels like temperature is 93. The temperature is actually 87. The sinkhole out at Pearson Park's lower baseball field has been completed in time for the All-Star Game. Also, tomorrow, fourth degree nights, there's a meeting at St. Mary's. And um, last but not least, we have made it through News Watch Nightly. So occasionally when I forget to press that button, Sounds like we're at Yankee Stadium and I'm announcing something. So uh, I apologize if I didn't hit that quick enough for you. Remember uh, July 6th, the Candy Canes, mini Candy Canes, 9 o'clock. It costs $50. And uh, Miss Lyles is handling that. And, you know what, I'll give you her number again. It is 724-674-7171. So, got it all out there to you. And um, now as we close on this News Watch Nightly, I'm going to tell you one thing. Make sure that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say, hey, I don't watch a lot of television, you tell them NCTV 45 is available anytime on your time. Yes, a train that runs on your schedule, that's NCTV 45. We're always happy to have you around. We're always happy to hear from you. If you have an event going on, make sure you contact us. And always feel free to send in a resume. We'll take a look at it. Now, as I said before, always in the pursuit of excellence, it's NCTV 45. And I thank you for tuning in. Now, make sure you get that glass of lemonade as I'm watching the wind pick up outside. Make sure you get that glass of lemonade. And uh, by all means, Make sure you have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again real soon. Got my ticket for the midnight plane, and it's not.